sitting in the sun while we wait for the workmen who are late by over an hour <clears throat> supposed to be here at eight and it's now gone nine and i've just had somebody turn up and go oh well they ordered this and said to be here first thing and it's been dumped in the middle of my lane so if anybody needs to get in or out i'm gonna get the fucking blame for this you know i'm fuming and they're like oh yeah yeah we're on our way we're on our way darren had to take his grandchildren to work well there were three of you you know couldn't darren have dropped you off first thing this morning and then done it so i'm now standing out here because i'm stressed to fuck because this pile of shit is in the middle of the fucking lane and she was like well they did ask for it first thing and i'm like i i don't know where they are they were supposed to be here an hour ago you know and then they're there going, oh, well, she could have done a fucking angle. She'd just be lazy. Well, to be fair, the truck was a fucking great long one. Now, I've done a bus in and out here. I bought a, a long wheelbase. And this was probably an extra long wheelbase. You know? Uh, to be fair, yes, okay, she might have been a little bit lazy on it. But they should have been here. So I'm not stressing. And that started to drip. So they're going to turn around and go, oh, we can't let the concrete today because it's raining. Well, it's going to rain all fucking week. So, you know, if they'd done this in August like they were supposed to, I wouldn't be having this issue. I'm fucking livid. <clears throat> He's like, oh, fucking figure. Uh, she could have fucking dumped it on your neighbours or on, on your drive or something. Uh, she's just been lazy. I was like, well, you know, maybe you should have been here. <laughs> now it's started to rain. And I don't want to go inside because it's in the middle of the lane. I just hope everybody's gone to work by now. They should have, because it's quarter past nine. But, like, if Gary doesn't start till ten, Gary's going to need to get out. You know, thankfully, Michelle the childminder parked out on the road, so that's not an issue for her. But anybody else, I, I'm just going to have to tell them you're just going to have to wait half an hour. I'm not stressed to fuck. That CPAP is making me congested and dry, and it says I'll turn the humidity level up. And I'm like, but there's no water in it. So I'm not quite sure how that works. I'm going to go and have a fiddle with the machine in a minute. I just want this to be done. I just want this to be done so I can park on it. I don't see why it's taking so long. Oh, they're like, oh yeah, the rain held us off on this job and the rain held us off on that job. That's why we're so late coming to you. They're two months late coming to me. sleep for about last night felt like the mask kept picking off but the report said I did alright last night it was a good fit so oh, I don't know just wish it oh, I just wish I felt better already you know don't you just love when you've done all the washing up cleaned your kitchen so It is, it is. I don't even know like what it is. It's Tuesday is what it is. It's 5.26 p.m. Um, yeah, I've not really done much today. I was all like, yeah, I'm gonna catch up on wrestling. I've watched YouTube all day. I did return my parcel to Amazon, which I've been meaning to do for about a week. And I did manage to get down yesterday and pay the deposit on my tattoo, which now means that if he gets cancellation or a no-show, he can ring me and I can go shooting down there. Hopefully before January. Um, the money for the show in Essex has finally been released by PayPal. Fuckers kept it for like nearly a month. Um and so i've now been paid for that which now means i have enough money to get new glasses um my somebody else is getting their loo roll delivered by amazon um my lost it sorry my appointment for my glasses is in january my tattoo appointment is in January. The concrete is being laid on the driveway tomorrow. I'm so excited about. I'm really looking forward to that. 
what we've got planned for us. Oh, I need to go shopping at some point because we've got a birthday party this weekend for Isabel. I haven't bought anything yet. Oh, the mat's dry, so I put it down on the floor. Oh, I don't actually want it down on the floor until tomorrow. Though. Thank you very much. Does it look nice and clean? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, yeah. Hi. Hi. My mummy's hands hurt. hands hurt. So, I'm still wearing my gloves. Um, I have to wear this one like quite low down because it keeps going underneath my watch. And I'm watching Pokemon Journey. And then my watch think like thinks that I've my... taken it off and the lock screen comes up, which is really, really annoying. Mum, mm. I hit my head on the banister at the bottom. Did you hit your head on the banister at the bottom? Your dirty, dirty face. Because he's been in forest school today, so he has a dirty, dirty, dirty face. I do dirty not. face. Yes, you do. Look, look at that dirty. Look! Look at that dirty there. That's just my face colour. No, it's not your face colour. That is dirt. Yeah. Let me see your hands. Yeah. Yes, they are dirty. Dirty, 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 Maybe dirty, not. dirty. Yes, they are. Oh, he's my baby. Mm. And today, at <coughs> school, we shouldn't throw away those white masks that Nanny uses because if we don't, the people think... They don't have coronavirus. That coronavirus isn't here anymore, but the coronavirus is still here. Mm -hmm. So you could catch a cough. Mm -hmm. So be careful to wear face masks. When every day you go to a shop, wear a face mask. So there. Give me the ear. <laughs> Get away! Oh, from but me. your ears are so eatable. <laughs> <laughs> right, go on, Danny, jump. <laughs> that was so not necessary. <laughs> it was. No, don't touch it. I'll crush it. Oh God! <sighs> you need a bath. Today we done. Bug club. We did bug club today. And spring um, shed. Yeah, go on then. Off you go while well, I explain. Go on. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Mm. Go on. Go on. Watch it. Yeah. Uh, you're disgusting. I'm going to send you back and get a new one. No, you can't. Can I not? Uh, I came from right, 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 right in there. You did. Clever boy. Um, bug and club is go a... Program on the and you have to read so many books until you get to play games on the internet um, by ActiveLearn.co.uk. And what it is is you, you Daryl, stop. There's loads of books loaded up onto the program, so you pick a book. And the reason it's called Bug Club is because in the beginning of the book is a little ant, and you press it, and it's an interactive bit for the kids and to do. There's also and one there's at usually the end. one at the end as well. And um, he reads it and he earns a coin. He earns like three coins for each book that he reads. And, and then, today I got to play games. And then you can like redeem your coins for games. Mm -hmm. I personally don't like using Bug Club because he's more interested in playing the games than he is in reading the books. So I'm there going, no, I, I actually want you to um, read and, and, and do lessons, not around playing games. But could you not <laughs> stick my thing onto everything? Um, <laughs> But, you know, I, I, I would prefer him to read proper books for now until, you know, he's older and it's not all game orientated. But there you go. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I like reading. So I am going to, ouch. Squeeze. 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 <laughs> I have a mommy. Mwah. I'm going to kiss you all over your face. Yeah. Mm. I ordered some new makeup. I ordered um, bright enough under the eye. I've ordered... Could you leave my stuff alone? I need some brushes to make No, me. you don't. Go away. Go on, go watch your film. I'll go and turn telly off. Yeah, I ordered then like a, a highlighter for me. under there. I've ordered... No, way. give me it now. Now go away. No. I've ordered um, like a chocolate brown lip liner. I've ordered some more of my favourite lipstick 
but in a different shade. My favorite one, although I'm loving the Huda, and I actually have eaten and drunk today, and it's not, it's so did a little bit there. Um, but I did it with that little liner today. So if I can find, sorry, that's slowly. Um, if I can find a brown lip liner that it goes with, I'm not gonna get a Huda one because it's just so fucking expensive. So if, I, if this brown lip liner that I've ordered comes, then I will be happy. I've also ordered a new lipstick eraser. Oh yeah, sorry, I was telling you about the lipstick that I ordered. So it's one of these Maybelline matte um, thingies. I'm just gonna pull it all up on the internet so you can see my mouth batteries are dying. So I ordered, my daughter's been on it ordering loads of stuff as well. So I actually have to hunt for what I'm ordering, you know what I mean? So yeah, I ordered a Superstate Eraser, which is arriving on Friday. And then at the end of the month, I've got a Maybelline Colour Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in Copper Brown. So I thought that might be nice. And the Superstay Matte Ink Lippy that I've ordered, I've ordered number 75, which is Fighter, because I wanted something, I used to wear this really nice brown lipstick um, all day. Now, I don't know, this looks quite light, but, you know. Um, hang on, let me pull up the... <coughs> Excuse me, right, I'm just quickly gonna flip you around. That's what I've ordered. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping, 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 oh, sorry, that um, that one is good. Um, they also had one called Amazonian, which looked like it might be a little bit darker, but that, I like the sort of brown, I wanted a brown, basically. And this one is quite nice, but who who is so expensive? You know, they, they were like twice, three times as much. And I got it on the subscribe and save. And because I ordered several things, I got 15% off, which I thought was quite nice. So yes, I ordered the um, lip liner, the lipstick and the highlighter and the um, lipstick eraser. So yeah, most of it is going to be here by the end of the month. Um, I don't know why they it, like you order something and they go yeah yeah you can have it at the end of the month, and I'm like but I want it now because it's a subscribe and save. Seems a bit dumb really. Uh, so yeah, oh excuse me, oh dear. ogling that camera and I'd be so tempted to buy it because I now have loads of money so yeah um, my multivitamins are also coming at the end of the month uh, Daryl's new vitamins coming at the end of the month I've got loads coming at the end of the month um, yeah I'd be so tempted to like order that new camera but but um, the driveway has ended up costing a shit ton more than what we thought. And um, although all the materials have been paid for, the work hasn't. And that's going to cost quite a bit. So I don't dare spend the money because I may need to sort of supplement my mum, basically. So this is today's eyeliner look. I quite like how this one came out. I do need to play with different colours. I just I just love the browns so much. I think the browns look great. Um, and I've got that entire brown palette that I just want to play with, really. But I'm trying to be good and use up my other palette first. <laughs> so, yeah. But I want colours that basically complement those browns. I know, really, I can get away with just about any colour, which is great. Um, but, yeah. I'm actually about to take my makeup off because it's sort of coming up for tea time. I hope you take my hair down as well. 
because I've got a little bit of a headache and this isn't helping. So, oh, I managed to slide my thumb under the doohickey. Oh. Do 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 There you go. <laughs> I'll set my headband off as well. Oh. Mm. I need to do my roots because my head looks really thin at the moment. I have experienced since extending my locks some thinning on some of them that one's okay but like some of these have thinned out i have had trouble with this one really since the very beginning you see how thin that's gotten so yeah i'm sort of humming and hawing about combining it with was it that one but it's just so far away from any other lock. It's sort of there in the middle, you know? If this would grow back in properly, I could use all of this. Um, but this is where I suffered postpartum hair loss. And it looks so much worse at the moment because my roots are coming in. So it might be time to re my roots just to make my hair look thicker. Because, you know. I'm also thinking of doing another thing that Liz Kidder did. And what she did, because I've got so much of Miss Al's hair, which I fucking love, by the way. Um, what Liz did was she bought human hair. Well, obviously, I don't have to do that because I've got L's. And um, she threaded loose hair, loose hair, which I think might look quite cool, especially as Miss Al's hair is like a damn sight darker than mine. Hang on, let me find the Miss Al lock. My Miss Al lock. It's here somewhere. Where is it? It's tightened up beautifully as well. That's not it. So I actually have trouble locating it. Because when I first put it in, it was fat and it looked fucking amazing. But now it's like tightened up and I have trouble. There it is. I have trouble like distinguishing it from the rest of the locks. So this is my Miss Owl lock. Now, as you can see, there's a little bit of white. That was from the back of her head. There's a bits of blue and purple and red and that and i love the fact that there's loads of color now what liz did was she got strands of hair she fed it through the root of a dread so like this is another thin one i wouldn't do this one because it's right at the front of my head but she did it like a long sort of you know the the where you do like a horseshoe highlight so she did it along there and um she fed it through the lock until she was in the middle of the loose hair and then she just crocheted it at the top so that it didn't slide out and then she just left the loose hair hanging down and it looked really good gave her a lot more bulk now i have a huge amount of bulk but only on one side because i do have some of my synths in um so it's either add some more of my synthetics in that I wear all the time, not the purple black ones. I don't wear them all the time because those are not crocheted. Those are heat sealed ones and they will fall apart basically if I wear them all the time, which I'm a bit bummed about, but then the price should have like alerted me to that. They look great, but they are going to be kept for nights out. Um, but I do have some more that came with this set. And while they're not as long as my current locks what i am thinking of doing is because i've got you know like uh, this one that's that's you know i mean that's the the extension that's the synthetic that one and my lock underneath it so i could extend the locks that i've got by doing what i did with these and which is just crocheting onto the end or I could just have some slightly shorter ones on top, which I quite like the idea of as well. So I really don't know what to do. I don't know whether to just add some more synth in or what. I also like, um, like on the purple and black ones, what I did with those, and I got the idea off of the, um, 
ones I got on the internet. I added elastic bands on the top. You know, and I've crocheted the top of them so that there's no loop because the loop adds bulk. You see here? And I'm wondering oh, whether to do that. that. Was easy. I was just going to ask if. I'm wondering whether to do that with my other ones because at least then I could take them in and out easily when it comes time to dye them. And I wouldn't have this bulky shit at the root. They would just blend in because I would use black bands. You know? I'll show you what I mean. Hang on. Let me just grab one of these. So, for example, right? I've got one of my pinky ones. Let's stand you up just there now the way it used to be was i would make a loop with the hair like i have done on this one yeah so you can see the actual hair itself is loop red now i've got the band on all i have to do is draw the loop through the band like so yeah and then I find a lock, so let's let's just say, for the sake of argument, let's just say this one. I place it on, on the lock, and then I pull it tight. So it's the band that's holding it in place, which means it's elasticy, not the hair. So I don't have the bulk, and you can't even see, until you get up and close, you can't even see where that's held on. So, I could do that with the rest of my extensions. I mean, look, you can't, you can barely see it. And if I redone my roots, which I'm going to do, you know, I could do that. I might even do that with these. Because these are sometimes really uncomfortable to lie on, but I do want more bulk. So, yeah, I'm seriously thinking about it. I mean, you can't tell, can you? Can you tell? You know, you can't just looking at it until I pick it up. And the fact that it's elasticy means that it's going to not be quite as tight on my root, which could cause thinning like this. So if I use an elastic which will loosen, it might not be as damaging. I might do that tonight because I've got loads of these bands. I pick these up in like cheap, cheap. So I've got loads left, and I use I use. Um, I'm going to do a video tonight on how I use my CPAP because I braid my hair because I wear a full face mask. Well, you know, bane type one, and I'm going to do a video tonight on how I do that so that um, anybody else with dreadlocks who might need use one so you can't even see there can you can you see i don't know guys could you tell me you know what, what you think i mean you can see it when i got like that but even then you wouldn't be a hundred percent sure would you i do love the pink i might take to just sort of wearing a few at a time until i go through them all i mean i only put they were only like 20 quid so i could always get more i'd like a turquoise set you know teal teal yeah, teal's a fucking gorgeous colour. And if I got teal, um, they would match the... Um, I don't really know what you would call those. Dread wraps. That's it. The dread wraps I got off of Crafty Elena. Uh, hang on a sec. No, comma, not yet. No, no comma, not yet. Sun text me. Um, yeah, if I got a tool set, I means I could wear those a lot more. See, those came with bands as well. You know, those, uh, all of my dreadfuls all came, uh, dreadfuls, I don't know why I keep calling them that. Dread wraps all came with bands. These came like my other synths. So, yeah. And uh, oh, something else I saw online the other day was um, somebody made this set of like like these decorative extensions but they were all on one like clip thing so what you do is you sort of pick the spot on your head like this you lift up 
Okay. And then they clip in around there and it's one piece with individual bits hanging down and then you just drop the lot and you've got these colours blended in, which I thought looked really good. I like that one there. Um, yeah, I thought that looked really, really good. Yeah, I'm actually going to go for this and put bands in. Because I can do that on these ones as well, which would make them easier to take out when it comes time to do my hair. I'll show you how I did it. It was really, really easy. Because, see, these get so tight that I actually do have trouble removing them sometimes because they kind of lock into place. And with my thumbs being as bad as what they are, I can't kind of get hold of it. So you can see the whole thing is wrapped around my hair. It's just, it's uncomfortable sometimes. And when you've just washed them, they get tight as well. Oh, come on. There you go, got it. So, that's, that's what you do. You create a loop, but you create it with the dread itself. Now, if I take it out, like, so I've put a bead on this one. It's one of my really small beads. This was the only thing it would fit. So, if I take it out, I've got this tiny little hole at the top. So, hang on a second, I'll grab a hairband. Uh, I just use a standard thin hairband that I got from the shop. And then what you do is you feed the hairband through the loop, okay? And you create a slip knot. That's that's basically it. So there's your band on the loop, and then you feed one loop through the other and pull it tight. Now I will also crochet this just to make it a little bit tight. I bought a new hook with a handle because I thought that might improve and I learnt this new crocheting technique instead of like going through you go round so you start off with your hook facing the lock and you go from like the back round to the front and then you hold a loop on the hook itself I don't know if you can see this it's quite hard to do and then you go around and you grab it from the other side and you rotate your hook as you're doing it. There's not much loose hair on this, so that's why I'm not sure it's gonna work. Because these are these are really nice synthetic locks actually, and they've been washed and abused and they're fine. So it kind of makes like a cage for the lock itself. Now this will straighten out once I wear it a little bit and it's been washed and all that lot. But I might do this with all of my, all of my extra locks because I've got loads of these hairbands. And then all you do is you do the same. So I think it was on that one. So you just grab the lock, pull a bit of hair through like that, or pull a bit of the extension through, pull it all up into place. And then you just pull this and it will slide off the hair so that it is just the band. And then it just hangs there and it's so, oh yeah, that feels so much less bulky. I may have found what I'm doing tonight, guys. Because <laughs> I've got three of these in my hair, three of these braided in ones in my hair. Um, around the back, there's one because I love I love them because she did like she made me three different coloured locks and then she braided the three colours together um, is that the other one there? that's one of the colours that she made so she made that she made a dark one that colour and then she sort of did this like grey type one there you go there it is stone sort of colour and those were the three colours that she did 
so when it came that's just string coming under when it came time to make the braids she braided all three colors together that's why it just looks so awesome and i love the colors um and that's what i've been wearing for ages because they also it matches my undyed bits you know where my natural bit of gray really is starting to show through i need to repair that it's trying to escape um yeah i can't crochet for, for very long because of the state of my thumbs i think i need to see a doctor about this but i want to add a lot more bulk in so that's just sitting so much better now and because it's on the thing it's elasticy and if the worst comes to the worst i can cut the elastic and not feel shit about it whereas i would feel shit about cutting an extension but I do want to add some bulk in. So I think this week I'm going to buy some new hair dye, dye my roots and then add in a shit ton more um, since just for some some bulk really. And I'm going to do it on elastics like I have these. And hopefully that'll hold. Yeah. I just need to go shopping. Trouble is, I have Dolly most of the time at the moment. So I don't have a chance to really go shopping. I wonder if I could quickly pop down to Morrison's in the morning. See, these have degraded a little bit because I wore them for a few days straight until I realised they were starting to get a bit. But you can do this crochet technique on these as well. Let's see if I can show you. So you start off with the hook pointing towards the dreadlock. Okay, you snag like a little bit of hair and then you put your hook through so that you've got this loop. Okay, like this. And then you go around to the other side after swiveling and do the same again and then go through that loop and then you just keep going backwards and forwards and it tightens up the dread it is possible to do this and make it look really good i've done it on some of mine and it does look really really good see this has made that look that little bit neater and not quite so bulby but yeah, I mean, I did it on that one because I had so much excess hair or loose hair at the root and I used that method there. I can only use my fingers because I've got black gloves on and it worked really well. It worked really, really well. That's nice. It's tight. Um, they call it like insta-locking. So I've never used this process before. So, you know, it works. It's all right. So yeah, I think I might add some more bulk in, but I definitely want to dye my hair. Um, it's my neighbor putting bins out, <laughs> coat, hat, scarf the lot. Um, I also do want to have a go at those um, lock knots. I was watching a video the other day and she did a surprisingly small loop, right? And then what she did was she crossed it and then she like did it like that swiveled it all the way around so you basically got a two strand twist leaving a loop at the end and then this bit you wrap it around the lock knot to hold it in place so it you really want a long as long a tail as possible because i was like well how do you know how long to have and it doesn't really matter if you have too much because you can just wrap it around itself See, I, I, you know see like that's a bit long but you can sort of like shovel it down a little bit and then you go right to the end and then what you do is you thread the end through the little hole that you've made and that stops it all unraveling and then what you're left with is this little tiny lock knot look at that and if you do it when it's wet and leave it to dry like that when you undo it, you have curls. My hair would end up being only this long. So that's something I want to have a go at, but I want to do it when I don't have to go anywhere. So, you know, I'm thinking of maybe doing it during half term. And then it just, you just unravel it. You unwrap it. And then you've got this, 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 you know, it'll be, you don't do it when it's dry because it, um, 
what's the phrase I'm looking for? It can damage the hair, basically. So you do it when it's wet, leave it to dry, and then you undo it, and, you, and it, it will basically make super coils, which I'm like, oh, my God, okay, that. So half term's coming up. <laughs> and I'm thinking the first day of half term, I may do this because I haven't got anything planned. And I may have a go at doing lock knots just to see what the heck is if it looks crap. I can always wash it and, or brush it even, and that'll take it out. So Daryl breaks up next week, next Friday. And I've got a um, nail appointment on the Wednesday. And then I'm free basically for two weeks. I've got nothing on. So I'm thinking, yeah, I may well do it during 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 the um during the holiday. So yeah. Or bantu knots, but I don't know how to do bantu knots. And also I don't know if I can sleep on bantu knots, so but yeah, I mean, he breaks up on the Friday and I might have to go and do it on Saturday or something. Then I've got the weekend to sort of allow it to sit and then I can see what it looks like afterwards. <laughs> this could end up being part of my Saturday care, you know. But see, like this is bulky because it's got a synth wrapped around it. So you end up with this big bulky bit. Whereas if I put that on a hairband, that would sit so much better because it kind of sits like that and it looks silly. So, yeah. I may well do that. I'm even going to write it in my diary. I'm going to write lock. Lock knots question mark. <laughs> Are you going to have a go? Right, I've now gabbed at you for over half an hour. Oh my God. So it's because I haven't talked to you all day. That's what it is. Um, right, I think I'm going to get my makeup off and slub around for a bit I am going to watch wrestling tonight I think because I haven't watched any like I didn't watch any last week I haven't watched any this week yet there's only Raw and um, AEW but I've got all of last week's to watch as well so I might do that tonight I need to get off the cola again because I'm drinking at least a can a day if not more and it's starting to show in my hairline because my skin's gone shit, which is probably why my hair is shit, because I'm not drinking enough water. So yeah, I need to sort that out. It's Wednesday morning. I've just got back from school and I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I'm at the point. Well, I want to give up with this fucking CPAP thing. Because I sleep with my face mushed into the pillow and I keep dislodging the fucking mask. So then I have to wake up, readjust it, make the effort to fall asleep without my face mushed in the pillow so that it doesn't dislodge the fucking mask. In a way, I feel more tired than I did before. I don't feel any better at all, not even a smidgen. And I know it's not even been a week. It's been like, what, five, six days? <sighs> I'm so tired. <sighs> I'm actually getting to the point where I'm finding it hard to function. And that's not good. I've got a drive to Essex next week and I need to be able to function. <coughs> I'm tired. I feel grumpy today. But at least the concrete's going down, that's something. Yeah. My bun yesterday must have been extreme because several people commented on it. <laughs> it was like a huge Nefertiti bun. So in a minute, Carl's going to come up to keep his ears open in case Dolly barks. Then I'm going to pop into town because I need bin bags, or trash bags if you're in the States. Um, I need bubble bath. I need 
cleaner for the kitchen. I, I've got a whole list and I need to get some hair dye as well. So I can do my roots. I could quite happily just go to bed, you know. The men should be finished by about lunchtime. I may just snooze on the sofa this afternoon. Dye my hair tomorrow during the day. Because I go down, do the cleaning and then come home and I could just do my hair tomorrow during the day. And hopefully it'll be dry enough by the time I've got to go and do the school run. Or I could leave it till Saturday and lock knot it as soon as I've dyed it because it'd be nice and wet. So I could try to. I'm so freaking tired, you guys. I ache as well because I'm tired, you know. <coughs> I think I might have a cold. I thought it was the CPAP machine at first. But I've gone from mild sort of congestion and my vocal fry being worse to actually coughing today. So, yeah, I'll have to avoid my mum tomorrow. My thumbs don't feel any better. So I'm going to um, fill out an e-consult for the doctor. See if I can get in to be seen. Because it's been, <laughs> I mean, I started this over a week ago. Look how tiny it is. Because I haven't been able to do anything. I'm either too fucking tired or my hands hurt. I can literally do like one forward and back lot. And I know that's still quite a lot of stitches, but. You know, I'm used to it for hours, not like an hour and then having to call it quits because my hands hurt. And that's an hour every few days, not every day. <coughs> so. I got a feeling I'm going to be grumpy all day. <laughs> it's cold. I need to go shopping for a birthday present because, <coughs> excuse me, it's Isabel's birthday this weekend and I haven't got anything yet. I don't know what to buy for a seven-year-old girl. It's been a long time since I shopped for a girl. Um, so, yeah, I need to do that. I need to find Daryl a new coat. Once the building work's done, I can get Dolly used to doing the mornings on her own again. It's just where we've had the builders, it would have driven her absolutely crazy. I mean, she's quiet now and she was quiet yesterday until I went around about half past nine to get her. So I'd like to leave her as long as possible today before I go get her. <coughs> And then she could come round because Wednesday is an all day. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. The concrete is here and going down. Yes. <laughs> It's all very exciting. Oh, that's not a 
can't it's gonna explode. All that noise, look, nothing's happened. <laughs> Holds it in place while they go um, dump it where it needs to go. Okay. And then what will happen is it will all be done filling all around this grating here. And this grating, what this is for, is if the concrete in later years tends to pack, that grating will hold it together so it won't turn into rubble basically. Yeah. Do you want a pink coat? Oh <laughs> doggy coat. <laughs> that probably set ice actually. It's not a bit one of them. Bit, 
behind that fence in weather. I don't know what it is. So I just hope they're not getting her out because you know that ain't happening. They are literally in the last corner trying to get it. Doggy print in there, mate. <laughs> Pick her up, put doggy print in there. Well, she's not mine, she's my neighbour's. Right. Aren't you? Put yours in. Get mine, she, yeah, she's uh, sleeping. <laughs> it's Thursday. I'm on my way to collect Daryl. I don't feel very good. I've got a really bad sore throat. I, know I was talking to um, the family liaison officer at the school a few days back, and she's just going through this and she said the weird thing is is she doesn't have a cold she's not chesty she's not snotty but her throat really hurts and I had such a bad headache this morning I literally felt like I felt like it was a migraine actually and I had it yesterday when I went to bed struggling to stay awake I felt really pissed off yesterday because I feel like the CPAP isn't doing fuck all. I've been using it for nearly a week. I've used it every night, all night. And I don't feel any benefit at all. And I, I, they said to me, you know, a couple of weeks before you stop feeling the need to eat it out the window. And the main issue I have with it is that I like to sleep with my face smushed into the pillow. You know, sort of like, <laughs> like that and um I can't do that because I just lost the mask but then saying that I had probably a really really good night's sleep I didn't wake up too often to adjust um I slept right round until my alarm went off I still feel really tired I fell asleep watching Black Widow last night first time you know and I literally slept through a good half of it because I was so tired um, and then I went straight to bed I've got to feed my snake so I'll have to defrost yet another wrap for her um, but yeah oh, I've got a headache my throat hurts I feel like shit so there we go so I thought I'd show you the driveway now that it's sort of dried off kind of bit this is the step on the inside. I have an Isis paw print and a Daryl hand print, which is kind of cool. I did want to get a cat as well, but she was like, nope. And here it is. It's fucking immense, you guys. It's hard enough for me to walk on, but not yet to park on. This is huge. You know, this is massive. They've blended it down a little bit onto my neighbours so she can park in and then it goes all the way around there so from the lane end 
when I get back. That means that my son can park in there because he has an Audi and it's it's a long vehicle. But it means he can park there in that bit if he can't ever park down the home. And I can park here or I can park in there and then Rob and Callie can park over here when they come to visit. You know, <coughs> I mean, Christ, I could probably even get three cars on there if I tried hard enough. But probably what I am going to do is down in that corner down there, I'm going to get some like trucks like this. I need to empty that because that's mine. <laughs> I'm going to get some of those and like fill them with soil and plant things in them. That over there is my cat's opinion of my driveway. Mm -hmm. Move bag. And then of course like leaves have landed on it from the various trees. On the whole I'm very happy with it. It's massive though. I really wasn't expecting it to be that big. You know? <laughs> Look at investigating it. Hi Elsa. She's like, I don't know about this mum. I don't know about this. I don't know about this. It's a bit like, it's a bit new. Hi pussycat. What do you think then? Hmm? If you ever ever doubted a tabby cat's ability to blend in, look at her on the road. You know, sorry about the nails. I keep getting them caught in that camera. I'm zoomed out as much as possible, but she's like, she blends in really well. If she was all the way down there, you wouldn't see her. So, but what we did with some of the leftover concrete as well is we went and filled in a few potholes up and down the lane because some of them were really, really bad. So, like there, we filled that in and then a bit further up there just to make it a little bit nicer for those of us that have to drive on this bit so yeah it's huge the weird thing is is it's also slightly lower than the original drive was you know they have they've sort of you know the lane is higher which means as i drive on and off that's going to end up collapsing onto the drive. Which I will admit I'm a bit pissed off about, but there you go. They've charged me a fucking fortune, and I'm not happy about the price, but what can one do? Does anybody know how I propagate a passion flower climber? My neighbour has this climbing over her over her fence and I would love to have one. I'm just seeing that one, the flower's about to open. <laughs> My cat is examining the driveway, she's like, I'm not, I'm not too impressed about this. Is that yours? That poop? Like, nope, I didn't do it. <laughs> yeah, this is this is yours to lay on now. So yeah, a couple of days, well, end of the week really, and then I can park on it. The concrete around this step in my garden has almost set. Are you coming in? She's like, yeah, I guess. I'd like to shut the gate. She's like, but I want to love the gate. Excuse me. Well, she's not quite heavy enough on her own to make a paw print. But, um, yeah, the fucking workman this morning, I was like, do you think that's set? And he stood on it and cracked it. So I had to rub it a little bit to make it look... <sighs> so the next project is my window sills over here. Because they look like crap, absolute crap. So the, they've come out and they've scraped it. Oh, I'm not going to bother getting it all stripped right back because, again, that's going to be even more fucking money and um yeah they're gonna come back and paint my windowsills white and they're gonna do my mum's as well <coughs> so yeah yeah dolly is on her own for an hour she has been on her own since about half past two so i'm gonna go around and get her in a minute because you know that's an hour 
we're getting there she's getting there she's actually quiet in the mornings now when nikki goes to work instead of howling the place down which is brilliant but yeah i think she's actually getting to the point where she'd rather stay at home than come around here but you know nikki doesn't want her there on her own all day but i think she could possibly do the mornings now the workmen are no longer here just you know upsetting her as it were so yeah I've spent the day catching up on wrestling. I'm on last Tuesday's AEW Dark, which means I've got uh, Dynamite and Rampage to go. And then I am caught up to this week. So, yeah, just checking the diary. Which basically, is my TV schedule, that's about it. <laughs> I'm thinking either tomorrow or Saturday, I'm going to dye my roots blue that dark cosmic blue that I've got out there. I'd like to dye it and knot it all in one go. <coughs> but that will mean getting up quite early. Because I want to see how crinkly it is for um, Isabel's party. Daryl's friend Isabel is having her seventh birthday party on Sunday. I've bought her some nail varnish and some eyeshadow. Which her mum's probably going to fucking love me for. But you know, what else do you buy seven-year-old little girls? It's only from Poundland. It's not majorly expensive shit. But, you know, I know her sister, Abigail, who is nine, ten, I think. Wears makeup from time to time. So I figured I'll get Isabel some as well. And um, see how she gets on with that. <laughs> I still feel crap. I am really... Uh, I ache now as well. You know, my back aches and... It's not that time of the month, that was last week, so that can't be that excuse. Oh dear. Yeah, I really want to do my hair, but I don't want to do it tomorrow during the day and then have to go up to school with my hair and lock knots. I really sort of don't want to go out in case somebody says something to me, do you know what I mean? <coughs> but I want to see what it looks like when I lock knot it. <laughs> I suppose I could wear a hood, but if it ends up being hot or something, I'm fucked, so. I don't know, I'll see what the weather's like and how I feel tomorrow. I've got this kind of collapsed bun jobby going on today. But I just don't care, I'm so tired. The other thing as well is, if I yeah, still feel rough tomorrow, I don't know that I really want my head upside down in the bathtub, rinsing hair dye out. <laughs> Anyway, we'll see. Right. Man, I'm tired. I need to do some shopping. I haven't done any shopping for fucking ages. Nothing to freeze as we have been living on takeaway junk food for the like past two weeks. This is pure laziness and forgetfulness on my part. So I need to order a shop. Oh my groceries delivered. Oh yeah, lordy, lordy, lordy. Yeah. So oh, there we go. Good morning. It's Friday. Friday, Friday. Um, I've got the windows being painted this morning. Um. Dolly was barking earlier, she's not now. But yeah, they're painting my window ledges this morning, mine and my mum's. So that's being done. My throat is agony. I actually unplugged my CPAP last night because the cold air blowing into me made me cough repeatedly. So yeah, I was like, I can't deal with this tonight. I just wanted to sleep. So I've unplugged it. So I might email the CPAP lady in a minute and say to her, look, I've got a cough. Um... And the machine's making me go. It actually emailed me. <laughs> I woke up to an email this morning going, are you okay? You've had more events than usual. <sighs> but there's no point me wearing it if it's just going to make me cut. The minute I put it on, the air started, my tickle. <gasps> I got hiccups. My throat started to tickle. 
<sighs> right, I've got a load of wrestling to watch. I'm almost caught up. I've just got um, the rest of Dynamite. I think I'm on now. Yeah, I'm on Dynamite now. And then I've got AEW Rampage from last week. And then I'm up to this week where I get to watch Raw and start all over again, basically. I've lost my little Raw flag. My little Raw flag has become unsticky. So I'm sure I have to do another one. Um, I've also got to wrap some birthday presents. Um, Isabel is going to be seven, or has just turned seven, actually. She was seven a couple of days ago. But they're having a party on Sunday. And I got her a little bottle of glittery fucking makeup shit. Uh, time to shine glass in... What colour was it? It's quick dry as well. So hopefully she'll like that. I don't know what colour it is. I think it's called cherry blossom or something like that. And then this really little pretty... Um, you know, one of them is sparkly. The others aren't. So I'm going to wrap those up and put them in... I need a gift bag. I really want to dye my hair, but I'm so tired. <sighs> I um, put a thing up on Facebook last night. My neighbour, as you guys may well know, is a gamer. I live in a semi-detached house and on the attached side, which is that side, behind Freddy, um, I have a neighbour. It's a single guy. I'd say he's probably a little bit younger than me, you know, 10 years or so younger than me. I think he's in his 30s and he's a gamer. I know that now. I didn't know that originally. When he actually moved in um, and this all started, I thought he was... Um, a perpetrator of domestic violence because he shouts and screams things along the lines of what the fuck is wrong with you you stupid and you know words like that and that's the mildest that's that's the start of it and then there's incoherent screaming on and off for the next couple of hours you might punch a few walls and then about half ten it will go sometimes later it has been later it'll go quiet And I honestly, honestly thought there was domestic violence going on. And it was getting to the point where I thought, I'm going to have to call the police, you know. And then one night I popped over to the shop and his curtains were open. And of course at night when you've got your lights on and you haven't shut your curtains or your drapes or whatever it is that you call them, um, your, your room is like a goldfish bowl, isn't it? Especially when you have your TV mounted on your chimney breast. So his TV is basically on the other side of that chimney breast. And I happened to glance in, like you do, and um, he was playing FIFA. And it all became clear. That's me flicking something, by the way. It all became clear that um, he's, he's obviously suffering from gamer rage. So I rolled my eyes. You know, I've got sons who game. I've got a son-in-law who games. Uh, my second son suffers from gamer rage quite badly. He goes through um, controllers. <laughs> he throws them, you know, and breaks them. And then he gets annoyed because he's breaking his controller. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, so I sort of rolled my eyes and didn't think that right. But I've had it now for the last three nights. Starts about seven, half seven, goes on till about half ten. Sometimes a little bit earlier, sometimes a little bit later. And I'm not really sure what to do about it. I'm not really sure whether to stick a note for his door while he's at work so that he's not gamer raging when he comes home and reads it. Saying, just nicely saying, look, um, I don't know if you're aware, um, you know, because you might be wearing headphones or something, but we can hear you when you're angry at a game. Um it, and, you know, that we find it a bit intimidating to have somebody screaming and shouting the way that you do. You know, sort of try and, like, make it a nice, not accusatory, 
please can you keep the fucking noise down type letter and you might find that quite weird because I, I know I come across as quite confident but I'm not I've suffered violence in my own home um in 1998 when I moved down to the big house um what was it two weeks after I moved in um I was stabbed and sexually assaulted by a man that I knew and I had let into my house um which you know it tends to make you a little bit wary just saying um that's what that scar on my neck there is um so for, I don't want to go around while he's raging because you know he could fucking punch me or something but I want him to be aware that I can hear him so that if it continues I can then say I have already tried to address the matter and maybe take a legal road no the police won't do anything I know they won't because the previous owners of the house used to party until 5 a.m and the police said well they're on private property and you know whatever and I'm like but isn't it disturbing the peace and they said no I had to get environmental health involved due to excessive noise which is what I might possibly have to do this time but I'm not really quite sure how to word the letter what I need to do is write it and then talk to another gamer and say do you think this is offensive would you find this offensive as a gamer if I wrote this letter I think or if you received this letter I don't know because then I don't want to set him off either and have him come storming around and go what the fuck is this do you know what I mean it's quite a horrible It's quite horrible living next door to it. I mean, to be honest, I'm not scared of him when he's raging like that. I'm just like, for fuck's sake, again? Do you know what I mean? It's like, dude, take a pill. But I don't particularly want to go around and confront him either. And my kids shouldn't be listening to that. I don't see why Daryl has a part of that. I don't know, I don't know what to do. Afternoon, I'm on my way up to school. <coughs> I feel awful. <laughs> I have a full on cough, I have the snots, I just feel rough. Um, I had to take myself to ring out because yeah, I went from not very snotty this morning to that was a chore getting that out. It feels weird not wearing it. So yeah. Um I was thinking about doing my hair tonight, but I've got a grocery delivery. Um, between three and five so I know that if I start doing it they'll turn up so I'm going to have to wait if they turn up at like three that'll give me time to do it and get it dry if they don't turn up until five that's kind of only not really giving me much time barely anything to just start watching YouTube <laughs> and wrestling <laughs> hi today is a picture day that was done pictures at school he's full of them he's Evil miracle guy. Evil miracle guy. <laughs> we have next good miracle guy. Yay! 
And then we have a lecture. Ooh. And then a kapow. Yeah, pow. That's a bad pow. Uh, who's that one then? Oh, this is copycat. A bad, bad girl. Yeah. She goes out at night and copies everyone's suit. She has a cape. And it has cats on them. <laughs> Good morning. It is Saturday. Um, no. Let's see. No. It's a nice day outside. Uh, we're going to be popping down the road to no. my mum's. No, 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 no. To organise a few things. Um, mainly like the builders, money and all of that lot. Um, I can park on the driveway tomorrow. <laughs> Yay! Which I'm really, really looking forward to because it's done and I just want to park on it now. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, so oh, we're going to pop down the road. And then we're going to come home and I'm going to cook a pasta bolognese dinner. No. In the slow cooker. There's Baymax is that web guy there. Okay, cool. Um, and it's self-care Saturday. So today I am going to dye my roots because... You know. And you're going to have a bath. I'm going to have a hot bath later. And I'm going to do a face pack because why the fuck not? We haven't done a vlog in how long? Uh, well, we haven't done a vlog in ages. I do vlog nearly every day. so You never let me. That's because you're at school. Mm. <laughs> <coughs> um, I am um, coughing. Dad tried to get Mummy out of bed. Mummy didn't want to get up. Because I was hungry. Yeah, he, his stomach was actually growling in the end, so I had to get up. <laughs> um, I am snotty and coughing, so I'm hoping that means that you know, I'm sort of getting it out of my system. Uh, my feet are cold. Hang on, move your hand. <laughs> no. no, my feet are cold. I'm going to put my feet up. Handy. I'm covering my feet -ums up. Leave my feet -ums alone. Because <laughs> my feet -ums are cold. Um, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> yeah. Um, oh, God. <sighs> I felt quite dreadful yesterday, the day before. And lots of people have said that Hi. they've had it for weeks now. <laughs> Daryl, please. Um, which I'm sort of like, oh, God, I don't want to be ill for weeks. Um, Alex has got it, so he's feeling grotty, which is a real shit as well, because he's taken most of this month off. And he's now ill. So I don't know, like, how much he's seen of his partner. Um, but next week he's coming with me on the mainland to visit my other son, which would be nice. And, um, yeah, so that'd be nice. Um, and he lives on a new island now. Uh, yeah, and, um, Daryl, shush, please. Um, shush, please. Let me stop throwing those around. It's yeah. very distracting and annoying. <laughs> Go find some clothes to put on. No, I want to be in the van. Um, yeah, so I'm hoping the fact that, because it was really weird, it was like I had a sore throat and I felt congested, but I wasn't snotty and I could breathe in and out through my nose and, you know, and it, that was fine. My nose wasn't running, my nose wasn't snotty and the snot came in yesterday. <coughs> Loads of other people said they were the same, you know, they had the sore throat, but everything else was fine. Um, yeah, the snot fest came in yesterday. <laughs> So I did a little bit longer on the CPAP last night. Um, oh, I broke a nail, look. I took out all of my extensions last night. That's how I broke a nail, trying to get one undone. Um, not my extensions, extensions, but the bulk extensions, you know, the synthetics. Took all of those out last night. Took most of my big beads and that out. And, yeah, I work on the roots today because, you know, look at that. <laughs> You can tell I've been drinking lots of Coke because my scalp is all dandruffy and horrible, which is what happens when I drink lots of Coke. Naughty mummy. Naughty mummy. But I managed to get some water delivered from the shop to, uh, yesterday. It's not the flavour I prefer, but, you know, I'll live with it. <laughs> um, <coughs> my throat hurts so much. So... 
Yeah. I've got to go back and see the CPAP people uh, the first of next month. Um, but I'm going to email them tomorrow and say, like, how dry and, and croaky it's making. It's made me since day one. And um, say that it. people have suggested to me, people on, online have suggested that I add a humidifier unit to it which I'm hoping they can provide me with because I looked at stuff for the CPAP and different face masks and that. And they're like 150 quid just for different face masks. And I'm like, hell no. <laughs> you know? So, yeah. Um, Everyone's going flying. Also, I can't get the side off to get to the filter. Nothing happens. <laughs> so I don't know whether I'm doing something wrong or what. I press the button and it just doesn't come out. Just oh, so yeah i'm getting more i'm getting more used to sleeping with it um i adjusted the straps last night um what i have been doing is braiding my hair and last night i didn't i just fed it through holes in the in the strap and then put it as normal onto my bonnet and that was so much more comfortable i do need a bigger bonnet though because especially when i've got like all of well even without my extra bulk extensions in last night the bonnet is slipping off. I don't know whether that's because of the um, straps for my mask or what. So, um, Bye. yeah. So I think I need to order a bigger bonnet for night terms. It's been don't pain. Get so rid I need of one. Your purple. No, I'll get rid of it. But it's oh, it's too small. So mm. I can keep it. You can keep it. <laughs> Marlo has for Mandy and my Lego action figures. <sighs> Daryl was very sweet yesterday. What did you do for me last night? In the bathroom. Oh yes. Um. <sighs> Hang on, he has to sit up to tell your story. No, it's alright. I've got it. So, last night when I was getting my toys out of the bath, I had a great plan, and I. Why? Why were you getting your toys out of the bath? Because mummy wanted to have a bath and then I used my face cloth to get all clean everywhere. I told him that I might have a bath last night and could he remove his toys out of the bath because he leaves all these superheroes in the bath. <laughs> and not only did he remove all his toys, but he actually cleaned the bath for me as well. Using his face cloth for I me. Mean, how sweet. How sweet. You're so sweet sometimes. <laughs> I just have to be nice to my mama. Yeah. So. I didn't want you to have so much time clean in the bath. So I done it for you. Thank you very much. <coughs> um, right. Miracle cat, fly! <laughs> so. <laughs> it is. Uh, Miracle guy attack. Oh, shit. What can I do for you? Shh, go away, is what you can do for me. It's 10 to 11, nearly. Um, so we're going to get dressed and do teeth and all that lot. Um, I'm not going to put makeup on because when I get back from my mum's, I'm going to start doing my hair, which requires lots of water. And it's just a bit pointless, really, because, you know, I am considering doing lock knots today. Kapow! Being as it's quite nice outside as well, so I could do it and then go and sit outside i, I also need to like and it i also need to um steal the hairdryer from my mom um it's my son's hairdryer and she borrowed it to defrost the freezer and now i'm gonna borrow it and <laughs> my son will get it back one of these days so ah! this is my eos joke got me this about 15 odd years ago Really? Daryl has one exactly the same, which I bought when Daryl was like a baby. He was like three, four months old, and I bought him one because then I, I knew we'd have. It, so... I knew we'd have matching eels. I know this one's mine because he used to have a tongue, and I cut the tongue off because I didn't like it. And you know, his face is slightly different from from Daryl's one. But I was super simple. I have two eels now. Eel attack, eel this, attack. Is Darryl, this is Daryl's eel, right? No, get that one out of the way because it's not the same. 
So you've got Darren with the ear, he's got no tongue. And his eyes are different. His eyes are more open, my eel's eyes are sleepier. You know, so he's ever so slightly different. <laughs> the but daddy. they're the only differences really. Yeah. You know. The daddy Other just than gone. That, they're all he's he's almost exactly the same. And the label on mine's like virtually disappeared through the years. But yeah, so that's the only way you can tell them apart really is that mine's got the tongue and the eyes are more closed. Which I love, I think it's great. But I got this one for Daryl. Um, funnily enough, I got this, um, knitters will know what I'm talking about. I went to Wonderwall the year after Daryl was born. So he would have been five, six months old. <coughs> and um, I got I stayed, um, we stayed, and there was a, was it Wonderful or Wallfest? It, no, it must have been Wallfest up in Cumbria, and um, the very next day after Wallfest, there's a ginormous, like, market, and people sell off, you know, sell stuff that they've met, you know, it's sort of like a crafter's market, but also second-hand goods, and I was walking around it, and I saw his eel. And that's where I bought it at the market after Wolfest uh -uh. in 2015. It must have been. So uh -uh. there you go. Because that was born in November 2014. So yeah, it must have been the the Wolfest after that. Uh -uh. That's his monkey. Mandy. That's Mandy the monkey. And where we are. Um, toothless. That's his bigger toothless. Where's the little toothless that I got you? The bigger toothless we got along the road. Somebody was giving it away, so yeah. Where's the little one? Is that no? That's sparkly, isn't it? So he's got like two toothlesses, and he's got like of... they're all in my bed. Look, my bed is just covered with toys. I come up here and find Darren in the weirdest of positions at night time because he just falls asleep on the bed. Like last night, he had this pillow wedged down the end of the bed. There's a gap between the chest that's there and my bed. And he'd put the pillow there and had fallen asleep with his head on the pillow the wrong way around on the bed. And I was like, oh, I'm going to have to move him. So, can you not find him? Oh, wait, he's in here somewhere. What's that? That's Mandy. You can't have my blankets. They are my blankets. What? That's mine. No, no, that other one is yours. <sighs> Horrible child. So, yeah. Oh, yes. Um, A couple of days ago, when we was at a park, we found this. Yeah, we found it. Someone had dropped it and there was nobody else in the park, so we brought it home. And now it's mine. And now it's his. I've got one. It's a purple one. It's in my bag somewhere. Where? Downstairs. Hand it to me. No. I'll trade you this one. I don't want a pink one. Why okay, you, right. Why is your favourite colour purple? Because it's a cool colour. It's not a cool colour. Why is your favourite colour red? You mean yellow? No, it was red last time I spoke to you. It's yellow now. But now it's yellow. Yellow's a crap colour. Uh, no, it's not. It's the colour of Pikachu. Pikachu. Ah, uh, okay, right. And also red apart of the colour Pikachu and also black. Pikachu. <laughs> Right, we're gonna go get ready and go down my mother's and then come home and get sorted. It's a gorgeous day. Yeah. No, I don't like the curtains, I've got to get dressed. Oh man. <laughs> so, yeah, sorry, else I need to just put some laundry on. Get the school I... uniforms and all that crap. T.Y. Hepper. Washed. I just T.Y. Hepper. And then, um, yeah, <coughs> stop, please. Right. This is Neptune so... and this is Digger. There you go. Digger. You're annoying. You're annoying and noisy and and heavy because you keep sitting on me. Because yeah. He sits on me every morning and I'm like, get off the house. And now I'm on the He is literally, those, that's <laughs> my feet. <laughs> Down there by his feet. <laughs> Ow! You just headbutted me. Sorry, sorry. Oh, right. Because, yeah. <laughs> his feet are like on mine. That's how long, that's how tall he is. He's over four foot tall now. Four foot tall, he's six. You're gonna be tall, aren't you? I know. You're gonna be taller than mummy. 
Like all the boys, they're all taller than me. All my kids are taller than me. Callie's taller than me by about that much, but she's taller than me. I never leave you. I should hope not. Oh, the lip. Look at that lip. Oh, 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 oh. Can I grab it? Turn around with that lip. Show the camera. Show the camera the lip so I can get it right. <laughs> Hebba. Oh, he's my baby. He does, yeah. And bigger too. One week left at school and then two weeks half term. Yay. I'm so looking forward to half term. Me too. I think because I feel crap, you know, and I'm so tired. I don't, I, I'm not a morning person. I never have been. I hate mornings. I hate getting up. And I do never. Just anything before nine o'clock is just, ugh, as far oh, as I'm, I'm concerned. trying to talk here? No, you're interrupting me. Oh. Uh, anything before nine o'clock is just oh. early. In my book, Um, I've never liked getting up. I can handle after nine o'clock. I prefer after ten o'clock, I must admit. But, yeah, it's just. Why does the day have to start so early? And it doesn't help that I feel so exhausted all the time at the moment because of the apnea and being poorly and all that lot. So, yeah. I got drunk last night. How dare you get drunk? I did. I got drunk last night. That is very, 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 very bad. <laughs> Didn't feel bad at the time. Felt really good, actually. Uh, yeah, I got drunk and I created a group on Facebook called Self Care Saturdays. So if you fancy joining that to share your self care routines and any tips and tricks, and if you find, like, you know, face packs going and also, on offer put, somewhere or something like that. Any comments, put no, down shut below. up. Um, if you. Um, <laughs> God, this is great. I'm like a duct tape his mouth. <laughs> so, yeah, if you find, like, self-care products on discounts, you know, stuff like that. Bye. I just thought it'd be really Bye. nice Bye. if we all, like, shared routine. Because people don't often think about what is self-care, you know. And self-care is just basically doing something for you, which is why I tend to do it. Because, oh. you know, we're all parents or workers or you know stressed or we are <laughs> slaves to our lives if you like and we often forget that we need to look after ourselves mm -hmm. so you know that's why i came up with this self-care saturday self -care? which is what i'll be doing when i get back from my mother's shush please and that will involve me doing a little bit of pampering because now, why now not? you made me forget what I was about to say. I'm going to sneeze. Oh, God, it's exhausting. I never sneeze less than five times. Never. Squeeze! I do not like that. You don't like that? I don't like squeezing. I only like nice. Nice huggleables. Oh, Harry Keller. Like a little tiny ball of mummy. Bam! <laughs> oh! God, get off. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Uh, it's a bit like having a great Dane puppy, you know? You pick it up and you cuddle it lots, and it never actually realises that it grows to be the size of a Shetland pony. And it's heavy. But Children yeah. are the same as that. <laughs> they climb all over you because you let them when they're small. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, they weigh a ton. And you're like, can you please get off me because I can't breathe. And they're like, no, it's fun. <laughs> and you're like, no, I seriously can't breathe. <laughs> Pikachu. Yeah. yeah, Pikachu. Pikachu, you, you little sod. Um, hands. Um... <sighs> Mummy's hands hurt. Mummy's hands still hurt. They're a bit better than they were. This hand is, the left hand is better. Um, <laughs> hang on, I'm just swapping hands. Pika, so I pika. can talk to you about the right hand. I've got my ring splint on my left hand, which basically stops me bending my thumb. Um, because when I do, I get sharp pain over there. I do have some pain down here. So I am trying to be careful with that. The rest of my joints are a little sore, but not like, hugely uh, Daryl shut up that's really annoying um, 
I am trying to do a little bit of knitting every day. Um, Can you knit bigger me? I, okay, it will get done at some point. Um, I'm literally doing like, I'm doing a headband and I'm doing one row. And you know, which make, is like that far across. She's also making me. <coughs> yeah, I am. Um, you will get it. Don't worry. Um, I want it now. So, you know, that's literally all I'm doing at the moment, which is highly frustrating. I might do like a couple over the course of a day. Yeah. So like I might do like one row in the morning I and then another that. row in the evening. But that's about it, which is a huge drop from sort of knitting all evening, really. But I just can't do it. My hands hurt too much. Um, yeah. So that's about it for now. Hello. Um, oh, Teddy. Um, yeah. So we are going to go and get dressed. No. Yes. No. You have to walk down the road in pajamas, then. and you'll look silly. Headbutt. Headbutt. Ugh. It's been a thing in the paper recently about um parents not getting dressed to do the school run so they'll be taking their kids to school and the parents are in like pajamas and dressing gowns i mean i understand maybe keeping your pajama bottoms on but to actually keep your entire you know or keeping like a nightshirt on under under your coat or something but these parents are going in full pajamas slippers and dressing gown robe you know whatever to drop the kids off not even put shoes on and i'm like how <laughs> it's it's, it's disrespectful to yourself isn't it i mean have some self-respect for fuck's sake you it's know because when they go home because when they're their nighty shirts and stuff when they get home they would like some Time alone and have some sleep. Yeah, no, I yeah, but you know they should go to bed earlier. I have to go to bed earlier when I require more sleep. You know, it's laziness. It's pure laziness. If you can get yourself up and get your child dressed, Darren and I get dressed at the same time. You know, we get up in the morning, we go downstairs. I have a cup of tea. He has breakfast. We come upstairs together. We brush our teeth. He goes in his room and gets dressed, and I come in here and get dressed. Why is that so difficult? And I mean, these are not parents of toddlers going to preschool. These are parents of older children that have been in the paper. You know, I'm talking like seven, eight, nine year old children that can dress themselves. And it's not just one or two. Like one school actually released a letter to the parents requesting that parents actually get dressed. So it's not just one child. Or, you know, I mean, you could excuse maybe the parent of an autistic child if the child's had a meltdown you know or had an episode or whatever but we're talking like enough that it's made the papers and it's not the first time this seems to make the papers quite regularly and i'm just like how fucking lazy and disrespectful to your child and to yourself you know i mean i Set your alarm for 10 minutes earlier if you're struggling to get dressed in time in the morning. You know? It's not necessary. It really isn't. Anyway, that was my TED Talk over for the day. Iron Man is here. and We're off to get sorted. Oh, it's Daryl! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I am Hulk. You are Hulk. Yeah, he's got his Hulk pyjamas on. <laughs> right. Destroy Iron Man. Destroy Iron Man. Okay. I, I just See you later. Iron. Say bye. Bye. So I've done the lock knots. Um, some of them are quite tight. Some of them aren't. This one fell out. <laughs> what I did was I did them and then I went up and basically saturated them to help set the curl. I feel silly. <laughs> I do. I feel really silly. But, you know. I'm going to take them down tomorrow, regardless of whether they're dry or not. This is not a style that is flattering to me. I wasn't careful about how I did it. I literally just grabbed each one and did it. You can see that one's coming undone. So, 
yeah it's, it's not a flattering style is it <laughs> not well not on me i know that um some of the videos i've seen of, 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 of black people that do that they look stunning you know uh, they probably do it a lot better than i do so oh, that was coming undone as well but look at things yeah so but the idea is is that you twist it up like that and you make a loop that you then twiddle around itself like so and then you wrap this bit around now i did ask one girl how do you know how much hair to wrap around and basically it's <laughs> experience that seems to teach these girls because I had to do a couple, redo several of them, um, especially because my hair is obviously all different lengths. So some of them are quite tight, like these ones on top are really tight, but <laughs> it looks silly. But there you go, my head also itches. Um, I did dye my hair earlier, so I now have sort of blue black roots. Um, I think I've done it all right. My scalp's a little bit irritated. So, you know, <laughs> I'm soaking because I've basically had wet hair for the past several hours. That one's come undone. Um, so, you know, I'm sort of like, uh, you gotta have a little bit of a tail while they come undone and then sometimes I've made the hole so fucking small I can't get the tail through it doesn't help either that my locks are a bit fluffy so yeah but they're in and hopefully they'll be dry-ish by the time I go to bed because um, I'd like to take them down in the morning and see what happens but they are dripping and it is now five o'clock because it took me ages to do this um i have 40 something and it's about 42 43 locks and I, none of these are my add-in extensions this is just my bare lock so it's none of my um <coughs> synthetics um so yeah and it, it took ages it was so much quicker to break braid it um yeah. so i think what i'm going to do now is go inside and cook some dinner because like i said it's five o'clock this is going to annoy me because i can't see fuck all um <laughs> alex is coming around later he's probably going to laugh at me and say what do you look like but like i said i didn't do this for style um i know that the 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 people i've sort of watched their videos online uh, keeping up china and, and people like that um they do it and it's a style for them i'm doing this purely for the curls so you know um i'm not i'm not worried about the fact that it's all over the place <laughs> i couldn't carry this off it looks ridiculous so it also hurt my fingers it was hard work because you've got to sort of twiddle that loop like you're turning a key and then you wrap the excess hair around it and then feed the tongue through the, the, the loop on the end. You know, the tail of the through like that and that's what holds it from coming undone. And obviously, like I said, I've had a couple come undone, you know, um, but you can use bands as well, but that's just extra work, isn't it? So, you know, yeah, so we'll see can't wait to take them out to what they look like. I really, really hope my hair dries. I forgot to pick up a hair dryer from my mum's house. So, yeah. Oh. Nose is rutted. I look silly. <laughs> Sitches. Like, I don't know whether it's the hair dye, but it feels like it's the hair that's irritating. It actually itches quite bad. I'm trying to just keep it all off my face. Look, I've got a blue fucking halo. Oh my God. 
um one thing i am seriously thinking about doing is that thing i told you about with the loose hair because liz kid has just done her like a second lot and it does look really really nice so yeah i'm seriously thinking about it i would have to sort out um Elle's hair because she just she didn't ponytail or anything she just cut it chucked it in a bag <coughs> so i would have to sort it so that i had a sufficient amount yeah, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> this looks so silly. Oh my God, look at that. You tell me I've suffered hair loss. I should have hair there, but I haven't. All that is postpartum hair loss and just never grew back. To be honest, the dreads don't help um, because they're heavy, you know, and um, the hair isn't strong, which is why I'm doing the oiling and all that lot in an effort to try and encourage it to grow, but I abuse my head too much. <laughs> so really, uh, what I should do is like not extend them. I should allow them to just grow naturally themselves, but there you go. Okay, this hurts, you know, I can't understand. I don't know whether I just made it too tight or what, but this is actually quite uncomfortable. Um, <laughs> I'm glad, sorry, I'm going into my office and the light's on. I'm glad I'm taking this down tomorrow. <laughs> I'm taking this down regardless of what it's like. Um, yeah, it's, uh, this is going to be uncomfortable to sleep on, I think. There's a few here. I think it's just, I've just made it a little bit too tight, you know? Um, I hope that one holds because it doesn't look like it's thirty three. <laughs> So, yeah, but it's uncomfortable. So I, I suspect that that's my inexperience that has made the <coughs> lock knots too tight. And by that, I mean that... <sighs> get the light. For example, on this one, you can see that's where I started to wrap there. So there's this little bit of root which means that that one I can move back quite happily, but some of these side ones, this one especially, <coughs> the twist is very, very close to my scalp, which is quite frankly a bit uncomfortable. Some of the ones on the back are uncomfortable and they're tight and I can feel like pulling. And also I forgot to separate my roots before I uh, started tying it all up, which, you know, is a dumb dumb move <laughs> but they're almost dry i know that much so it'll be uh it'd be interesting to see what it looks like come tomorrow i'm gonna um get up i've had my nice hot bath i've done my face pack so my self-care saturday is all done i'd like to paint my toenails at some point but and that's just a for me thing because I'm not walking around in sandals at this time of year. I could tell you that much. Um, make it a cup of tea. I might do that tomorrow night. Um, yeah, so self-care Saturday's gone well. I've had a nice hot bath. I've done face pack. I've done my hair. I've dyed my roots. Um... <laughs> And I wasn't like super, super careful about not dyeing Daryl's hair um, when I was locking it. I can't find it now. I knew that I hadn't like caught Daryl's hair because the lock knot is sort of a couple of different colours. Is that it there? I don't know. Is this? That one's coming undone a little bit. But yeah, I don't know. It's around there somewhere. So I've got two locks that I can actually see Daryl's hair in it. Um, because it's joined like a good four inches away from my scalp now it wasn't an issue so I don't think it would have dyed the hair too much so yeah tomorrow I'm gonna get up uh, get dressed and that we've got the party tomorrow doc um meow so yeah, we've got the party tomorrow. 
and that's not till 1 30 dark again <laughs> sorry um there's plenty of food in your bowl don't be a pig um so yeah i'm gonna have a nice relaxed morning and then i'm gonna do my face put some nice clothes on this is the little wrapped it and put it in a little baggie that i had so that'd be good i'm gonna get home i can park on my drive <laughs> i'm really excited and i will get last week's vlog up so this was the dye that i used cosmic blue now that i've had a bath i no longer have blue ears because you know that was all fucking blue and I'm, i reopened one of my um there is still blue on my ear isn't there i reopened one of my um piercings yesterday friday thursday friday so my ear is fucking agony as well and i was like i can't wash my ear because it hurts so much being as it's cartilage piercing so yeah um yeah i wouldn't do this as a style and go out with it uh <laughs> that's quite a tight one that's pulling a little bit but i don't know would i do it again i don't think so because my god it took forever to do but if it looks really gorgeous tomorrow then yeah it's something i might do it took me probably over an hour i think it was <coughs> just over an hour to do um if it looks gorgeous then yes i might do it for special occasions but not for like an everyday thing so we'll see we'll see we'll see and um, if I do it, I would have to braid up, like, my synthetics as well, which I haven't done. Because I won't be wearing those tomorrow if this comes out super, super curly. Because this will give me the body that I need. But, yeah, it'll be interesting to see. I like playing with them because they're short and they move and they go... <laughs> but it's, it's not overly comfortable on my scalp itches, but that could be the hair dye. So... Right, uh, what else? I don't know. What we got next week? Um, I'm going to visit my son on Wednesday. Last day of term is on Friday. And there's another birthday party. Um, Magic Island is one of those places where it's full of little balls, you know, where the children can go and bounce about in ball pits and basically things like that uh that's jackson so it'll be his seventh birthday i need to text his mum and find out what jackson would like as a present so yeah and then daryl's off for two weeks and i don't really have anything planned it's my daughter's first anniversary during half term I don't really have anything planned, so yes, I'll just see. <coughs> oh God! I just sneeze again in a sec, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have a cup of tea and I'm gonna go to bed. So I will see you tomorrow and we'll see what this looks like okay um it is time for me to take all this down and to put some makeup on so i think i'm going to do the makeup first and um yeah we'll go we'll go from there i'm gonna find a youtube video to watch while i do it and um yeah i'll be uh, i'll be back when the makeup's done and you can watch me take my hair down Ugh, one fell down <laughs> It's not overly curly, is it? So, I'm now going to undo them all. It's still a bit damp on the back, so I'm not expecting much, to be honest. It doesn't look like it's really done anything, does it? Oh, that was a complete waste of my time and my night then, because that was bloody uncomfortable to sleep on as well, where they were so tight. I honestly thought these were going to be curlier.
I get more of a curl braiding it. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, that one's come undone as well. Well, <laughs> um, it's still quite damp, which I think is the issue. Um, oh, my scalp hurts from having them in. It really does. Um, I'm quite disappointed that it's not curly. I was hoping for something where it curled right up to here. It's I've got I've had more effect off of just braiding it, to be honest. So, yeah, I'm a bit disappointed in that. There's no curl in that whatsoever. So I am going to assume that I did something wrong because I've never done it before. But there you go, never mind. You win some, you lose some. So I'm going to put back all of my beads and shit that I took out for this, um, add in a few more of my <coughs> um, synthetics <laughs> to give me that bit of bulk. Um, oh yeah, my scalp does hurt. It wasn't comfortable to sleep on. I won't be doing it again. I won't be doing it again, not even to try and get it right. I don't know whether it's just that, like I say, I didn't do it right. I don't know whether it's because my hair is still slightly damp. I mean, I've got some little curl going on on the ends, but I was expecting the whole thing to kind of look like that. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I would say, you know, I don't even know whether it's just because I've got Caucasian hair, but the fact that I can get <coughs> that off the end <coughs> and I've created more of a curl with braids makes me think that it is possible. So I am going to assume that the reason this hasn't worked is because my hair is still quite damp. It might also be due to the fact that my hair is quite long. Um, I caught my earring <laughs> yeah it might also be due to the fact that my hair's long and it just simply can't sustain that kind of curl i don't know i really don't um i'm not going to try it again because it was uncomfortable and it was painful um yeah I, di I didn't enjoy the process and it took too long you know why spend an hour and a half doing it and risk not getting anything at all and being uncomfortable for at least one night if not longer when i can braid it all in half an hour and i do get at least some kind of you know, curl to it. So, yeah. Um, yeah, a bit disappointed, but see, I mean, it's got a bit of like shape to it. But like I said, it's all at the end. Now, I wrapped quite a lot of hair, you know, when I, when I did the longer ones, I bent it there. So really all of this should be curly. And it's not so, you know. <coughs> I mean, it's given it a little bit of body and it's given it what looks a bit thicker. But I did want a lot more curl than that. And I've had a lot more curl doing braids, which also they dry quicker if they're braids. Um, lock knots seem like they take days to dry. So I put some braids and red wraps and some extensions back in which now feel really heavy <laughs> um it doesn't look too bad you can see the blue there but i guess that will probably I'm fade out Isabel's birthday party. we are yes oh, the presents um that's just <laughs> tucked in wrong um yeah it feels a bit sensitive and sore at the moment i'm I only gonna the wear these for the party um and then i'm just yeah i, I did think about putting my hair up but i didn't yes okay but i didn't want to add any more stress to my head so i'm leaving that at the moment dogs outside having a pee 
and then we can look at getting ready to go. I haven't eaten with me this Daryl, so I'm fucking starving. He's had breakfast, but it's quarter to one, and we've got to be there for like half past one. So I don't know whether to go and grab him a snack over the shop or not. Um, Daryl's talking to Nikki. Um, my hair doesn't look really blue um, on top. Sorry, I'm trying to get my shoe on. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look really, really, really blue. But, you know, as it grows, it probably will. Let's go, Mum. Home from the party. I am knackered. I am absolutely... <laughs> my head hurts. Oh, dear. Bye -bye. Oh, bubbles, loud noise, screaming children. So, yeah. I need to find. My head hurts loads. Not from the braiding as much, but headache. You know, I kind of wish I had put my hair up. I have a headache too. Yeah. We both do. So, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be doing much the rest of today. Daryl was insisting that because it was a party, we need to get a takeaway. So I was like, right, okay. Even though I've got like a feet off full of fucking food. But who cares about that, eh? <coughs> So I am removing my um, dread wraps. Just the wraps, not the extensions. I'll leave the extensions in. I've got this hair caught on that one. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> that hurts, that hurts, that hurts. <laughs> oh dear. I'm tired. I don't feel very well at all. I feel like absolute pants. I really do. Um, the blue seems quite nice. You can really see my sections there, though. Uh, I always think a neatly sectioned um, head of dark hair looks quite nice, as long as it's not too tight. <coughs> oh, excuse me, fucking hell. I am so done with this cold. The other problem I had is because I did some of those um, lock knots that way, basically my, my hair wants to do this now, which is annoying. It won't stay to one side, it just wants to flop in my face. These are heavy. I didn't even realise how heavy these were when I first got them. I knew they added some weight. Um, is it this one? Yeah, especially this one because it's got like a couple of gems hanging off the end. One of them's got a fucking stone. But I like them. I don't wear them very often. I'd like to wear them on a night out. But then I, don't, I can't imagine going out on a night out and dancing with all this hair. <laughs> you know <laughs> so yeah <sighs> that's a bit lighter my scalp still feels sore and irritated mind Kyle's coming up he's going to spend the evening and we're going to watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and I know It was a good party, although I did feel it was a little bit long, you know, half one till four is a long time to keep a bunch of kids entertained. Um, the local island Disney princess, you know, hire a princess for a day, turned up. Um, the, I know the manager, I've known him for years. Um, I am going back years, actually, I've known him for... I could almost be getting on for about 15 years because he dates somebody that I used to be really good friends with. Uh, I'm going to take my makeup off. And um, he's actually quite good at parties, so especially for children. I think that's done, don't you? I don't think I'm going to get much out of that. When I bought this lipstick, this lipstick, I was like, it's a bit too red because I usually go for browns and purples. But now I've been wearing it a while 
I actually quite like it. It's quite nice. It's this one. It's number 50, which is Voyager. And it's Maybelline. <coughs> the ink matte thingy. So I am going to remove my face. <laughs> because I'm knackered. So I use micellar water and um, a cotton pad. And I just drench that. And that will do my face. And then I'll wash my face before I go to bed. Just to get the rest off. Get any that I missed, I'll do my face first. Don't forget your eyebrows and your eyeshadow. Leave your eyes good going over because mascara and that brow stuff can be a little bit of a bitch to remove. Man, I am tired. I feel ill today. Um, you know, not just like worn out from being ill, but I feel ill. <coughs> and then I use the other side where it soaks through to get the rest off. I have found though that this lipstick's a bit harder to remove than the other colour I use. I'm going to use another pad. Oh. I'm at the end of my, of my bottle of my Stella. Just to get that last little bit of red off. There we go. All done. <laughs> and then I'll wash my, hair, my face later before I go to bed. <coughs> my son is here. Hello, son. Hello, mother. I'm dying. I have the lug. I have man flu. I have man flu. I'm dying. Uh, then you can blame the little child then, can't you? I don't think I caught it off of him, though. Yeah. Hi, Isis. Yeah, I don't think I caught it off him. I don't really know where I got it, actually. Come to think of it, which is what's weird. Oh. Just seen a Kiara from... Um, Oh, Lauren Gary's cat. Yeah. <laughs> Lauren Gary have got two cats, um, both tuxedo cats, and um, they live like that way, about five six houses down that way. And when they go over to the shop, which is that way, the cat follows them as far as one of the cats will follow them as far as my front door, and then she sits outside my front door and yowls because she's been abandoned because they've left her and gone to the shop. Because she obviously she won't go near the road. She's she's quite a sensible cat, and she won't go near the road. So she sits out there and basically yowls until either i go out there to go what is wrong with you and give her love and fusses until somebody returns or just basically until somebody returns and i can hear her no matter where i am in the house because she is loud it's full on wow kind of thing you know i'm a fucking hell kiara's out front <laughs> so yeah she loud girl she loud but so yeah, I think the party was a huge success. Although she didn't open like the presents. So I was kind of, and I don't do cards. I, I usually forget basically. <coughs> so I said to her mum when I left, I was like, that's from us. <laughs> she was like, okay. <laughs> I'd put it in a little pretty bag and all that lot. So hopefully she'll remember. So yeah. Well, I should have tied a tag on it. That's what I should have, a fucking craft on it. I should have stuck a gift tag on it. That would have been a good idea. Um, Never mind. I only saw Kiara just up towards uh, their garden. That's about it. Yeah. From their back garden gate. So I'm off for the evening to go and um, watch telly with the boys and get food and 